the coronavirus pandemic continues its grip on our state, everyone is being asked to socially distance and stay home as much as possible. But not everyone is following the rules. Colleen Quigley is live digging deeper after speaking with city leaders. Colleen. Yeah, Angela Marius, we are all trying to do our part, social distancing. That's why I'm actually coming to you guys live from my kitchen, heating that stay-at-home order from the governor. Uh, but as it turns out, as you said, not everyone is listening to that. And I learned violating it could land you in jail. It's the new normal, empty city streets. And social distancing is the way everyone is being asked to stop the spread of coronavirus. But Raleigh Mayor Marion Baldwin says not everyone is heeding the warnings. I've heard reports of people out, you know, in our parks playing basketball and you know, what not. Not a good idea. And we're just asking everybody, young, old, what not, stay at home. CBS 17 saw several teens playing lacrosse Tuesday afternoon. One day after Governor Cooper's statewide stay at home order went into effect, banning gatherings of 10 or more people and only allowing travel for essential tasks. What is your message to people who don't seem to be taking it seriously? All the research indicates you need to to distance from each other. That's if you get too close, that's how the virus spreads. According to Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman, violating that stay-at-home order is a Class 2 misdemeanor and can land you a $1,000 fine or up to 60 days behind bars. But Raleigh Police says if officers are called to a reported gathering, officers' primary objective will be to, quote, remind the public of the governor's executive orders with the goal of keeping everyone safe and with the expectation that they will immediately cooperate and comply. Enforcement will be a last resort. They are not going to arrest people, you know, for playing a game, but yeah. they are going to ask them to comply. Now, Raleigh Police is asking you, if you do see gatherings that violate that stay-at-home order, go ahead and call their non-emergency number, and they're going to handle these on a case-by-case -case basis. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News. Colleen, thank you.